We're getting to our next game. Oh, this is... So what... Uh, Devin, I do need your help here. Sure. How did both of these players get here? Oh, uh, okay. Give me one second. Because player four, someone that can definitely make court winner's quarters under normal circumstances, but would have to beat someone very good to do so. I know we had some DQs, and I do not know who this other player is. All right, so player four so. made it uh, here, taking it over Zafros, who took it over uh, basically Jen's bracket because he got DQ'd. Ah, okay. Ah. So and that's then, Jen's side of the bracket. Yeah. And then... Uh, HF, Hoshido's finest, took it over Zane uh, oh. in round two. So that's his only wow. win. Wow. Yeah. In fact, uh, Hoshido's finest took it over Zane and then took it over C. C upset C Caleb. Oh. It's like the C in C Caleb's well, C, name, C just is, like, uh, you know, mutiny. Yeah. <laughs> C is, is, is good at the game. That much I know. A very good Donkey Kong from us, Chester. Um, uh, not Donkey Kong. Sorry. Not, not Donkey Kong anymore? Yeah, I know. Tragedy struck. What happened? I believe he plays Palo now. That's fair, honestly. I, no, it's not. Don't, don't, I get it. Don't justify that kind Kong, of I love Donkey Kong, but frankly, play a good character. Don't do that to yourself. Um, Palo, Palo isn't good. <laughs> no, no, Palo's Palo was good. Palo was real good. good. Palo's yeah. glad. Yeah. Palo. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, two characters that uh, I think we don't really see a whole lot of representation from outside of really these two players probably in New York. But she does find us also a Long Island player. Um, Reggie obviously a little bit more well-known on the whole. Uh, Reggie being, of course, player four. Um, and, um, yeah, however, Hoshida's Finest, really a solid, um, oh goodness, really a solid Corrin player and a character that's really not super common. Yeah, and honestly, the character does have weaknesses, but also definitely some strengths, and we're seeing them at play in this matchup in particular. Corrin's range, he is a sortie, I'm sorry, he rather, he is a sortie, and he does have, you know, lots of good tools specifically against Peach, who can kind of struggle to get past people who, you know, don't have hitboxes attached to their body. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, generally speaking, uh, for the longest of times, um, Disjoints versus Peach generally do well. Um, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of range. And Corrin has um, massive, massive amounts of range that she can ledge cancel, just, or rather, he in this case. I hate that it's male Corrin because everything that I know from Frozen playing Corrin in Smash 4 has just been taken by the wayside because I had to get used to saying she and now I have to get used to saying he for this Corrin because we're male Corrin now. Unfortunate. Very unpopular opinion. Male Corrin's better than female Corrin. You're wrong. Um, but that's fine. Um, I would preface by saying he was unpopular. <laughs> oh, but I mean, listen, I, I'm believing in the merits of male Corrin yeah. because it's doing real good right now. Player four on his last stock. He hasn't taken a hit yet, so things are not quite so bad for him. But honestly, a single little nick might lead to tons of damage. Let's see if this is actually going to be the case right here. Single grab, but that can actually be kind of one of the struggles of Corrin is that, you know, if you win neutral, if you don't win neutral with the right thing, it's like, congratulations, you got 8%. <laughs> yeah, and um, it really is like um, one of those things where the, the damage that, that, that Reggie has been getting thus far has not really been that like super huge peach combo damage that we're used to. Um, and when she does find us, kind of take full it. Oh, you died. He died. So it, what happened there, Reggie did not react to the S-Flash coming out just yet and was going to be dashing out and then back in anyway. So Reggie Whoa. did not have time, was caught in the middle of the dash. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, $20 were added to the, to the match arena. Okay, go ahead and guess that it was uh, Projo. Was it Projo? Yeah, so uh, just guys, you don't have to donate $20 to the Matrino. You could just generate 30 cents and add it to the pot yes. by just typing in maximum <laughs> exclam exclam exclamation exclamation part Matrino. Right. Uh, but with that said, yes, there were also people, I think about four or five people who also did uh, exclamation point Matrino and typed in their things. Oh, this is an illegal stage. Are we in uh, button checking? Oh, Luca. Thank you. Right. Uh, Luca, for uh, donating to the match arena. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. But with that said, um, Shaw. Why are we. Okay, I don't know why we're on .com. Who knows? Uh, th this must be a button check, if I had to guess. I think that. Because uh, Player 4 stayed Peach. I think maybe Player 4 was maybe getting some misinputs he wasn't anticipating. Okay. Very possible. You know, Peach input heavy character. Don't want to be misinputting at That's all. That's true. Yeah. Um, and like the fact he got hit by that forward smash at the end right there, maybe there yeah. was controller delay. I don't know. But um, regardless, it seems that now he is uh, his 
his concerns have been assuaged, yeah. and he is, in fact, going to be moving into game two. The counter pick on stage. I missed it. Were we back to PS2? I think we were back to PS2. Yeah, we're yeah. back to PS2. Uh, player 4, generally speaking, does really like to go to PS2. Um, so no surprise there. Likes a bit of a bigger stage. Did I understand that versus pretty much any character? Um, you know, uh, against against most characters, Peach does like kind of having a little bit of space to mix up her uh, aerial approaches. Yeah, at the same time, look at all this tricky platform movement that... Uh, uh, Hoshino's Finest? Yeah. Okay, Hoshino's Finest. Uh, has Hoshido's, been, Hoshido's. Hoshido's. Okay, yeah. Hoshido's Finest. Yeah. HF. All right, HF. Uh, it's what you get for having yeah. a name that's complicated and hard for me to Honestly, say. you're right. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. literally signed up as okay. HF. So he is, from this point forward, he is HF. Um, anyway, so things right now looking much better for Player 4 this time around. Even though early on, kind of dropping some low percent combos uh, doesn't need it necessarily. You know, just playing really good neutral right now. These ledge traps have been working out really well too. And between those two things, that's 132% on HF. Really kind of getting mixed right now. Ooh, and yeah, the, Reggie, I think his strongest suit as a player um, is really keeping um, players in the corner. His ledge trapping is phenomenal. Uh, really has great reactions, and thus far we've seen that pretty well. And a big back air there for Reggie, gonna put him up one stock in his game number two. Yeah, that's a bit of a hungry down air that we saw from HF, really costing him. And this is, let's not forget, Korn can kill really early, and I think that's, you look at that, the, the way yeah. that HF is playing right now, he's looking for it. He's looking for some type of, uh, you know, dragon shot, maybe a forward smash at the ledge of some kind, but there is risk in, you know, trying to be too hungry, because look at that, 44%, those Reggie combos, they are coming out now. They were maybe, uh, you know, some misinputs early on, not this time, the, you know, things are falling into place, and, uh, wow, that didn't hit him. Yeah, dry, the thing is, is the, the Fang itself does not have a whole lot of a large hitbox in this game. It's actually relatively small compared to what it used to be in, in Smash 4. Um, however, th yeah, <laughs> there are confirms into that move in this game. Um, however, right now, Reggie looking really dominant. Um, just maintain stage control. That was a stitch into a Saturn. Honk. Honk. Don't... Don't don't kill him. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, yes. Peach. I feel like Peaches love it when other people pick up her Saturn no, no, because they no, don't know what to no. do with it. What happened? He died. Oh, okay. And to dot eyes, he pulled Stitch into Saturn into dot eyes, and yet got nothing off of all of them. Instead, it just kills with the forward air. <laughs> Yes, Peach's RNG, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh goodness gracious. That is that is ludicrous RNG. Um, again, didn't end up mattering too much, but um, still looking good right now for um, Reggie going into you know the end of this game number yeah. two. Do you think we went into Duck Hunt for RNG manipulation? Is that what this was? Honestly, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Just like uh, you know, made sure that the uh, that the uh, the stack. Yeah. Filled with all the bits that he needed in order to uh, execute arbitrary code execution to ensure all of this good turnip RNG. Player's just on a different level. Um, yeah. Reggie's just, he knows. He's on TAS. That's what he's doing right now. Oh, that's death. Yeah. Ooh. That's the thing. Corrin with landing fair, landing there, has crazy ludicrous combos. Um, at late percents, especially if you're DIing in, which I'm sure Reggie was holding in there, um, it can be so scary, but a quick 56 to get back to this game by him. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, he's now that he's been getting those, you know, combos consistently at lower percents, the question is when you get to the higher range here. Ooh, nice damage. All right, yeah, nice damage. <laughs> but uh, when we get to these kill percents, we've already seen that HF is no stranger to killing relatively early, whereas Peach as a character, you know, sometimes it's like it involves getting a forward air at 140 near the ledge. Yeah, Peach as a character can at times struggle to kill. Obviously, he does have ludicrously early kill confirms. Um, but once we hit that, you hit that like 100% mark, doesn't really have like a, like a super slick, super easy kill confirm. Um, that many other characters do. She kind of has to work for it at the very end of a stock. Ooh, big hit right there, though. This is also ledge traps can lead to it. That's what we're seeing right now. All of this pressure. Another back air putting HF off stage. 
Oh, but the pin's so sneaky. Actually getting a little bit of stage control. Can he actually do anything with it? Player 4 has been using some really nice floating to get past all of these hitboxes, but it seems that maybe HF has picked up on that. Whoa! Oh, I am shocked that I that did not actually just get the hitbox of the pin, and it tried to stick. Um, maybe, maybe. But if it did, that would have been it. And wow. And not only that, the hurt box behind Peach Bear, or I guess in front of her, um, takes the stock. Because yeah, that move, moves her box, or hit box is um, huge. So kind well, of... I mean, have you seen the <laughs> dunk? <laughs> well, it is pretty big. Like, look at this. Watch and pause. Okay, so this Peach hit um, Corn with Bear here. Let's think, find out. It does, I mean... Bears the face. Oh, well, actually, look where Corrin is. All the way behind Peach. <laughs> yeah, that move is kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, uh, kind of unfortunate there. I mean, Hoshida's finest, HF, has to kind of be keeping this in, you know, check. Has to be calming down a little bit, I feel. Um, you really lost the game off of that missed pin. And then get hit by the big hitbox that doesn't look like it hit you. That can yeah. be tilting. So we're going to see if HF is going to be able to stay composed here um, when it comes to this game. Yeah. And especially, it's worth thinking about what is on the line here. Both of these players, they're on, they are very solid. Jesus. What a, that's a, that's not how you want to miss your text, buddy. Um, but both these players are, you know, Definitely good, but the stars had to align for them to make it this deep in bracket. Winner of this is in winner semis. Yeah, winner semis, guaranteed, guaranteed fifth. fifth place, super top eight. I'm pretty sure that's that's HF's first time getting in top eight at uh, I don't, Casino. It might even be player fours. I feel like player four. I want to say maybe he's gotten before. seventh once, but I think it's this would probably be his highest placement if he were to um, if he were to get yeah. you know there. So, you know, definitely tensions are high for both of these players, but it looks like HF cooling down just a little bit. Yes, he took that really early sock, but for the most part, he's Ooh. not been getting hit. He's only taken 13, and player four at 139, trapped at the ledge, could die at any instant. Right there, the back air finding its mark, and just like that, this is a dead even game. Ooh. Less even now. <laughs> yeah, that, that is going to be a lot of percent. Ooh, and a re grab, an excellent read. Goodness gracious. That is. Reggie is also so good at mixing up that throw. You oh, got another one? It's, it's not going to mean anything. Oh, now. no. You killed him. <laughs> oh, they killed my son. Very sad. <laughs> oh, the slight stall that Peach does when she counters actually ended up making that down to whiff. And as a result, that's some more percent knocked onto player four. And wow. 17 on HF, though. Trapped at the ledge like this. He could die to a forward air. Uh, maybe even a Again. back air. <laughs> yeah. Behind Peach. Oh, <gasps> and a miss B reverse. Yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Granted, you know, he was down by pretty much worse than this after that first stock, and he managed to climb it all the way back. So, yeah, I, don't, I definitely think he can just even things up. Just like that, we have last stock, game three between these two, 0% for both. And after oh. missing that first pin the last time around, gets one at the exact moment that he needed. However, player four getting a whole lot of damage. I think that was meant to probably be something other than up tilt. Don't really see Peach use up tilt super often. Nice tech chase. Oh, the spacing on that. Did you see? Just barely missing that pin. Again, barely missing the pin. Right now, Reggie's just micro-spacing so fantastically around these moves. Oh, that air dodge actually going to get even more damage now. This is so scary for both players. But if you're player four, it's going to get a lot scary a lot quicker. Corrin can kill absurdly early if the, the, the stars align in the right way. DIing in. Bro. Off the top, yeah, you need to DI that behind Peach. Gotta know. And you would think, you know, after these players are both from, you know, Long Island, you'd think they would know. <gasps> That's it. That's, that's super it. Wow. Yeah. And you can see the little pop off from Reggie. He's happy about that. He's in winter semis right now with Zeno. Yeah. Fifth place for Reggie today. Guaranteed. Why are you talking about fifth places if he's gonna go he's gonna lose his next two games? Next two sets. Um, do you think he's going to win his next two games? Would you like to make a wager?
I and I salty fun is silent. Say that. I did not say that. <laughs> however, I love Reggie. Listen. Reggie's my my good friend. Um, however, um, I'll be real with you, Reg. Uh, you're here. I'm very happy that you're here. But with that said, um, I hope you win.